Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another epic video for you guys. So today what we are doing are, is we are... Today what we are doing is ranking the five epic brawlers in Brawl Stars. So as you guys can see, oh my screen did a little bit of a blink over there. As you guys can see, we got five epic brawlers. We got Piper, Pam, Frank, BB, and B. So these are five pretty epic, you know, I said epic for epic. These are five pretty cool brawlers. They're all unique in their own way. All of them are pretty cool. And what we're going to be doing is ranking them from five to one least you know, OP to most OP brawler. So with that being said, let's hop into number five and let's show you guys what the worst epic brawler in Brawl Stars is. Okay, so coming in at number five, we have BB. Now, BB is one of my favorite brawlers in the game, but I did just put it recently on my bottom five worst brawlers in the game list. Unfortunately, you know, as I said in the bottom five list, it just doesn't really have a spot in the meta at all. In any meta, as a matter of fact, now you could pop off with BB. It is very possible. You know, the knockback and the bubble is really good, but unfortunately, there's just no consistency to BB. A lot of brawlers do counter her, and it's just not the greatest thing in the world. You usually have to be a pretty high tier player in order to be a good BB, and it just doesn't really fit the flow with a lot of comps. With that being said, though, BB does have her moments. She can be really good at things like getting the first gem or stuff like, or not first gem, sorry, getting the first bolt, stuff like that. Or she can also be pretty good at, you know, just trying to get to position pretty well, whether it uses the speed or the shield, kind of like tankiness just to buff her or like tank her way there. There is a lot of ways where BB can be used decently successfully, but with that being said, there's always going to be a better option on every mode, every map, every, every everything. Although the one thing I can say is that her gadget does have potential because it is just a straight healing gadget. And with the shield, it can definitely do a lot. Now, I don't think it's very strong right now, but if they give it a little bit of a buff, they might over buff it by accident. And this could actually make BB very strong. But unfortunately, right now, BB is definitely going to be the number five brawler and the worst brawler out of all of the epics. And with that being said, let's move on to number four. Now, coming in here at number four, we have B. Now, B used to be one of the best brawlers in the game. Um, you can still kind of dominate a game with B, don't get me wrong. But unfortunately, her gadget really brought her down in the rankings of all the brawlers. You know, some brawlers with really cool gadgets such as like Nita or Brock really kind of skyrocketed. But then you have brawlers such as uh, B, which was a good brawler or a pretty average brawler. But then you incorporate the gadget and ba it, it basically being useless. And BB kind of just slowly goes down the rankings and isn't as good. Now, with that being said, BB can definitely get better. I could see it happening. She was once at the very top of the meta, so who says she can't be there again? Some brawlers, just the make of them are pretty OP, and the current make of B is just very, very, very strong. Outside of that, B is good in solo showdown and duo showdown as well. He, she was pretty good in, in Lone Star, but you know, rip Lone Star. But anyways, she's pretty good all around. She can be used in Heist, she can be used in Gem and Brawl Ball. She can actually be used in a fair amount of places, and B is used pretty fairly often in competitive at least in North America I don't see it too much in any other places but it isn't that bad of a brawler at all to be honest just unfortunately for her the epics are kind of good it's probably my favorite kind of class of brawlers in the game and she's just not going to be able to cut it to get to the middle or even the top two but with that being said B is a very good brawler I can see her being up there in the future even number one with that being said she's not going to be there and let's move on to the very middle of our list and number three Okay, so coming in at number three, and this was a very, very hard top three to make because I feel like these brawlers could be based on player preference, could be based on your your skill level, what type of brawlers you like, etc. But coming in at number three, we're going to have Pam. Now, Pam is probably the most well-rounded brawler out of all the epics. It's just really good. It can do a lot. Um, it's very, very, very well-rounded. And there's just a lot you can do now. You guys see Jigsaw kind of just clowning on, on these guys right here, just jumping. I don't know how many jumps that was, four or five. But um, Pam is just an absolute beast. Uh, can be used in Heist. Is one of, is the best gem lane in like three of the maps or two of the maps. Can be a good gem main in a lot of maps. She does have a fairly good gadget, which does help a lot with healing. There's just a lot you can do with Pam. You can even use it in Heist. You can even use it in Siege, as a matter of fact. You can use it, obviously, in Gem Grab, Brawl Ball. And it's obviously really good in Solo Showdown and Showdown. So as I said before, Pam, very well-rounded brawler. Not a lot of weaknesses. Up close, it does do really good actually people always underestimate pam's damage but also from afar it does pretty decent if you're a good juker which pam is kind of easy to hit shots on because she does have a little bit of, you know, she's a she's a thick gal you know it, it's pretty good if you can ju juke with pam because that just makes her a really lethal brawler she doesn't get countered by a lot she does get countered by brawlers such as like throwers pipers 
or I don't know why I said Pipers. Throwers, Piper, Brock, like a Rico, a Colt, just ranged brawlers that can do a lot of damage. Definitely does counter Pam. But with that being said, Pam is a very good brawler and is going to be number three on our list. Now coming in at number two, we have the big beast, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Frank. Now Frank is a lot of people's favorite brawlers and for very good reason. Frank is a amazing brawler. It's used so so often in competitive I can't even explain it's one of the most highly used brawlers especially in like siege or something like that and it's really really good now really amazing to get position with very strong brawler obviously the most HP in the game unless you count like Sandy with her sleep gadget thing just really really good brawler all around um, it did have a weakness and that weakness was the fact that it's really easy to cancel stun it doesn't have that much range and a weakness that nobody really talks about is it's kind of like a walking super. So say you're on lane with a Barley as a Frank, there isn't much you can do because with the Frank because Barley can just continuously shoot over walls and you're just going to continuously charge super. Barley can super the safe, the Ike, I mean, uh, the mid can can help the other lanes get positioned. So there are there definitely is weaknesses with Frank, but his biggest weakness, which is him being stunned during his super, was taken away by his gadget. And that is really, really important because that flew Frank up in the rankings for best brawlers. Now, I know I include Frank in a lot of my top 10s in the next brawler. I don't, but the next brawler is definitely the best brawler if you're talking about high skill cap players and is going to return back to the meta very soon, in my opinion. But with that being said, we're not done with Frank here. Frank is pretty good at duo showdown. I wouldn't really recommend him, but he can definitely be used in duos. Solos, I'm not too sure about. Can be used with triple tank comps. It is the most essential piece of triple tank. It's very good in, in Siege, obviously. Pretty good in Gem Grab. Fairly good in Heist, and it is an absolute beast in Bravo. Please don't use it in Bounty, though, because Bounty is definitely a no-no with Frank. Anyways, he is a pretty well-rounded brawler, even though considering he is like a tank or like it seems like what would be a niche brawler such as Primo, but he can definitely make it work, and he is definitely an absolute god if you know if you know how to use it and if you can ball out. So that being said, let's move to number one on our list. Let's hop into it. Now, coming in at number one, we have... Piper. Now, Piper is probably borderline top 10 in the meta, probably a little bit out of the top 10. But wow, can Piper be an absolute beast? It is one of those brawlers like Frank, like Colt, like Primo, where you can just start wiping teams with. Piper is probably the brawler that you can carry the absolute most with in a competitive game when everyone is good because you can just be hitting shots, juking. You can be not missing shots. You can just be popping off. You guys can see I'm hitting all the shots over here, which is just forcing them to stay back. If you're hitting your shots with Piper, your team is going to win the game. And that's it, period, because you're going to back them up and do so much damage from so far they won't be able to hurt you. And you guys are just going to be absolutely beasting like you guys are seeing on the screen right now. Viper obviously is a god tier brawler, was at the top of the meta when B was at the top, kind of like she was a top two or three brawler for a really long time. Um, obviously, she runs bounty. She is the bounty brawler and has been the bounty brawler for who even knows how long, probably years at this point whenever ever since piper came out she's been the brawler in bounty 100 percent and she's always used in competitive she's also a very good gem mid she's good in siege on long on the long range maps her gadget although bad isn't as terrible as i thought it was i put it in my bottom five for gadgets it's probably bottom 10 but not bottom five because it's not too too useless because you could actually kind of go close up now with piper a little bit if you want to like, hit kill some like weaker brawlers but Piper definitely is going to return back to the meta, is the current meta, if you are a skilled competitive player. And that is why we're going to put it at number one on our list. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, I do like ranking brawlers. I do like making top fives, top tens, you know, tier list, all that type of stuff. So if you guys want to see it, please let me know. But anyways, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please smash that like button, leave a comment down below and subscribe. You guys have been absolutely killing it as of late. This has been my best month in the last like six or seven months. So thank you guys so much for that. But anyways, it's going to be it for me today. I will catch you guys again tomorrow. See you guys then. Peace.